Hello everybody, my name is Jacob, and welcome back to Epic Mickey. We're gonna go through the mirror and go to Oztown, and I'm gonna fill you in on some fun Disney history stuff while we do. Let's go. Do you want to travel to Oztown? Yes, I do. Through the mirror, let's go. Yep. Um, so... Yeah, don't do that, Mickey. Ooh. Jumping on bed we're jumping on the bed so a couple fun things um about this game and disney history and all that so all of the characters that you see are not only real disney characters which might be obvious to some of you some of you might look at them and go like well i recognize that character and i recognize that character and all those like horace for example is pretty recognizable, even with his, like, ah, uh, no one recognizes me, boo-hoo, woe is me, status in, uh, this game, but he's still fairly recognizable. Um, Oswald, meanwhile, is the big get. So, for those who are not aware, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit is Walt Disney's first creation. Before Mickey Mouse, before all of uh, the Mickey shenanigans and his success and Steamboat Willie and all that, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit was his first uh, creation. And you might be asking yourself then, well, if Oswald is his first creation, why did Mickey take off? Where is... How, how come Oswald didn't really, like, come back into the public consciousness until this game? Wouldn't Walt Disney's first cartoon creation garner more recognition than that? And the answer is, well, yeah, of course it would. The problem is, um, Walt Disney and Walt Disney Pictures did not own Oswald at the time that this game came out. It was actually a big get for Disney to get Oswald so that he could be featured in this game. Um, do you want to go to Oztown? Yes, I do, Gus. I believe Viacom owned Oswald because back in the day, you didn't own... I mean, even nowadays, you don't... Cartoon creators don't really technically own their creations, but... Because it's all fairly public stuff now, um, like, the creator of the Owl House, if they got locked out of doing anything with the Owl House, Dana Terrace, um, she would be able to make enough of a public showing of it because of just the general, like, more public fa forward-facing, um, way, way of the internet that it would make enough, uh, it would make enough, get enough attention, but that sort of thing just didn't happen back in the day. So, yeah, he, he never, he lost the rights to Oswald. Welcome to Oztown. Looks like Donald's tugboat sank since I was last year. Mm-hmm, and there's Oswald. I've always liked that Oswald statue. That fellow standing in front of the gag factory is named Moody. He's Moody. Um, and that ended up leading to the creation of Mickey, obviously, because couldn't use Oswald, had to create something else. Uh, Excuse me, miss! I'm looking oh. for Oswald! <gasps> Land sakes! Mickey oh. Mouse, it's Clarabelle! Why, you must remember me! Oh. Huh. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> look, look, look! I was in Mickey's Melodrammer! Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. In oh. Mickey's polo team, I dined with the stars. Orphans oh. benefit both the original and the remake! I guess no one sees those anymore. It's... Oh well, I, I'll just get back to my garden. With all the commotion, it's the only thing that makes me happy these days, lately. Yeah, Clarabelle's still fairly famous. She's decently well-known. So you're going after Oswald, are you? That sounds dangerous. If you're going to Mickey Junk M Mountain, you'll need to fix that bridge. There was a gremlin handyman around here, but he's been missing a while. Oh, before I forget, something has been making noise over near the gag factory. Can you go see what it is? It sounds like something might be calling for help. I would go checking it out myself, but, well, you know. Yeah, you're not a hero. Unlike me. Um, but so the, the way that Mickey 
was created was, or so the story goes, on his way home from losing Oswald, from like going to the Viacom, or actually it might even straight up just been Paramount, um, on his way home from going to the offices, um, he's riding, uh, Walt was riding like the, uh, the bus home with his wife, and he was just doodling some other characters and like trying to come up with something else because he, he would have to come up with something else. And he asked her, he just doodled a little mouse, and she's like, what, what, who's that? He goes, well, this is, I think this is going to be my new creation. Um, and I think I'm going to name him Mortimer. And anyone who knows anything about, like, Mickey, Mortimer is Mickey's, like, quote-unquote arch-nemesis, who's, like, trying to steal Daisy from him, or, uh, Daisy, trying to steal Minnie from him and all that. And his wife said, you shouldn't name him Mortimer. That's a horrible name for a mouse. You should name him Mickey. And he should have a girlfriend named Minnie. Look, Mickey, it's, a, uh, it's, a uh, your house. I, I mean, it's not yours, but Oswald's copy. I think he was hoping you'd be forgotten someday end up here. So, given that Mickey clearly became a sensation and Oswald was forgotten, that leads into some of the... Oh, I can go inside now. Would you like to enter your house? Now that I painted it. Mm-hmm. Looks just like it does in Toontown at Disney World. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mickey Mouse. Welcome to the Wasteland version of your house. And even a bowl for Pluto. How sad. Um, but it's understandable why then Oswald is clearly not too happy with Mickey coming here and just like being around because if, if Mickey's here, well, then either he's been forgotten or he's come here to like move in quote unquote on Oswald's territory. And it makes sense that he would be upset over that. I mean, I would, I don't know about any of you, you're like the well I am the older brother in my family but like the the family member who's like always gotten the attention from like siblings and relatives and all that if they suddenly came into the one spot where you had control and were like hey what's up guys guess who's coming to stay for a while you as well would be a bit upset I can imagine power spark from where Oh, just on the roof? Okay. Fair enough. I didn't even see it when I got up there. Too bad that car's for decoration only, eh? I understand you have a real one in your world. And that also begs the question. I mean, there's there's some, a couple questions you could ask based on this game. Like, well, if uh, there is a real world, is Mickey a cartoon character in that real world? Is he, like, a drawing? Like, all of these other creatures clearly are aware they're cartoons, so is there a Mickey world and then a real world? Like, th there's a couple questions you've got to ask with this game. When I saw you show up in Oztown, I knew it would mean good things. Do you even know that you repaired my house for me? Now I don't have to hang out under this safe for shelter all day. Speaking of the safe, you want the combination? Something in there complains all the time. I'm kind of tired of it. Here's the combination. Nice! I didn't even mean- I mean, I obviously didn't want, um, to, like, not help him, but I helped him without even realizing it. How great. How delightful. Yep. Thin it away, bring it back. It's fun stuff. Okay, so I want to get up there to the safe. How do I get up there? Can I... Is there like... No. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to get up there. But how? Oop, hold on, what's this? Oh, it's just a pillar. Dang it. You know how to get up there? Uh, when Orton Cena's house is painted, it reminds me of holiday cookies. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, well, what, can I just hop on this? I can, and then when it jumps up, I can jump up. Yay! I did it! Oh. Watch yourself, Mickey. I don't think I've ever seen this cutscene before. Did I- was I never able to get the gremlin out, or did I- 
Oh, I think I know what I did. I'm free! Oh, adorable. Very cute. I love it. What a good likeness. Um, what's going on with... Yeah, I don't even want to know. Thank you for rescuing me. I owe you one. Headed to Mickey Junk Mountain? I can help, but I need my wrench. Where's your wrench at? When I took over that telephone in your house, it tricked me into the safe. I'm certain he still has my wrench. You'll need to go, so you'll need to go get it back from him. Just let me know when you have it. Alright, we'll go get the wrench. I think what I did before, because I've never seen that animation before, even when I used to play the game, or played it way back when, I think what I must have done was thinned out, um... Ooh, stuttering. I think I must have thinned out, um, like, the branch, causing it to then fall and land on top of Moody, and then I opened it. Um, which I'm glad I didn't do that this time. Also, it's an old friend! Looky who we have here! That's Goofy! I mean, sort of. It's animatronic Goofy. Oswald built him with the Mad Doctor's help. Oswald wanted a friend like your pal Goofy. Gosh! Hello, Mickey! Uh, where's the rest of him? What happened to you, Goofy? Well, uh, I was doing some work in Tomorrow City. When the Mad Doctor went and betrayed all of Oswald's friends, yet some of his own friends tear me to pieces. Ooh. Now, all my parts are scattered around Tomorrow City, but I know you can count on you to put me together again, Mickey. Ugh, got behind there. Alright, so when we get to Tomorrow City, we can find his parts and help put him back together. Hey there, Mickey. Do you think you could help me out? The Mad Doctor scattered all my body parts around Tomorrow City. If you're going by there, could you get them and put me back together? Find Goofy's parts. I'll be more than happy to help you, buddy. Alright, let's go get that wrench from the phone booth. Or from the telephone first. And then we can make it to Mickey Junk Mountain. Hey, I need that wrench. Prescott wants his wrench back. No way. Look, if he gets his wrench back, he's going to disassemble me. Disassemble. He's still mad that I had him locked up in that safe. Really, though, he had it coming. Anyway, I can tell you need the wrench, so I'll tell you what. If you help me restore my signal to Main Street, I'll give you the wrench. There are three more power boxes like this one around Oztown. Enabling them will allow me to reach people in Main Street. Come back to me when you've started them, and I'll give you the wrench. Gotcha. Seems simple enough. I mean, we're running around doing a bunch of simple little quests, but I mean, hey, this is a 3D platforming adventure game. I don't know what you expected us to be doing. We're going to do fetch questy things for other people. That telephone thinks he can... A telephone thinks he can keep my wrench? He's not even a gremlin. I respect their sure house, but if you let me go in there, I'll get my wrench back. Can I go in and get my wrench? No. Okay, but I can't fix the bridge without the te without it, and that telephone can't fix the bridge for you, even with my wrench. Yeah, but just give me a sec, dude. We're going to keep everybody nice and happy. Just let me fix these. I'm assuming I just have to paint them into existence. So, give me the... Come on, come on. Yeah, it's improved from, um, Rabbits Go Home, but it still isn't perfect. Telephone box. Where are the other telephone boxes? Where are they? Like, for real, are they back in Mean Street? Is that what he meant? Hold on. Uh, quests. Um, boxes. Hidden in Oztown. Okay, so they are here. Hmm. Maybe they're on the walls? Can I go into other people's houses? This door's locked. I'm sure I didn't like okay. Okay. Don't see any so far. But that doesn't mean they're not around here. I don't want to let him in, because he'll be mean and rude and beat up on him. And I want to prevent that. I want to keep everybody happy. Alright. Do I need to paint them, or do I need to activate them? Because there's a difference, I'm pretty sure. 
Hmm. I don't see that, like, hazy little outline. Okay, okay can I erase it? Can. Three more to go. Okay. Where could they be? Not there. Yours appears to be locked, Mickey. Okay. Where could they be? I might... What's the time on the episode so far? Let me see. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward past this. I'm going to find them, paint them, and then we'll be right back in like two seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only. You're right. Batteries not included. M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Well, what do you know? The Talking Mickey Mouse with illustrated book and cassette from Worlds of Wonder. It looks like that was the last of the power boxes. We should go back to the phone. Okay, jeez, that took forever. Just wandering around looking for phone boxes. All right. Hey, Mr. Telephone. Mr. Ring-a-ding-ding. ring a ding 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 dong The door almost looks a little bit like a skull, which I don't know if that was intentional or not, given the, like, wasteland elements of all of this, but hey. The power boxes are restored. I can now reach even farther than Mean Street. This should keep me busy for a while. Thanks. Here's the wrench I promised. Can you do one more thing for me? I'm trying to reach a phone out and make you check them out and... If you dial 726 on one of the phones out here, you should be able, it should help me find the connection again. If you help me out, I'll have a reward for you when you get back. 726. Gotcha. I mean, if we're headed that way, we might as well. And I got the wrench, and I'm giving it to Gremlin Prescott. Okay, we don't need to keep going with all these quests. They're all overlapping now and getting a little bit overcomplicated. Hey, Gremlin Prescott, where'd you, where'd you go? There you are. Guess what, buddy? Guess what? Got your wrench. Now I have a wrench so I can fix this bridge. All right, here I go. And we made everybody happy. Nobody's upset. Gremlin Prescott got his wrench back. I didn't have to let him beat up the phone. I didn't destroy the, or er, uh, hurt Moody by dropping the safe on him. We are just being just a positive, like, what, well, what's the, a positive, not a negative Nelly. What's the opposite of a neg- A positive Pelly. Positive Polly. Good luck on Mickey Junk Mountain, Mickey. I wonder why they call it Mickey Junk Mountain. Hmm, I wonder. I, I know why they call it Mickey Junk Mountain, because, like I said, I've played this game. But, but, Mickey Junk Mountain might be the my favorite area in the game, minus Tomorrow City, which is cheating because it's based on Tomorrowland, which is my favorite place in the world. So, yeah. But, Mickey Junk Mountain is still extremely cool. Just from a, like, level design and, um, production design and, like, art style perspective. You'll see what I mean. Bum, bum, going through, collecting e-tickets so that I can use them to buy things later on. Here they go. Sure hope there was nothing on top. Oh, uh oh, wait. Oh, no, the film. I knew there was something on top of there that I would want to get. Crap. Can I exit this and go back? Crap. Oops. Oh, well. I mean, I guess we'll have to go back and forth to get from Mickey Junk Mountain to other places and such. So we'll come back for it. Hey. Do I want to go to Mickey Junk Mountain? You bet your booty I do. And away we go. Yeah, God, he looks so cool. Hey, I think I've gone four episodes without cursing at all. Hey, I'm proud of myself. And I know you're proud of me too, Mom. Because I know you're fine with it. You're not a prude, but you like it when I don't curse. Which I understand. And I love you. There's the mountain we have to climb. Oswald Sanctuary is up at the top. It won't be easy to reach him. He doesn't really want any visitors. Hmm, Oswald Sanctuary is on top of a 
mountain made of a bunch of junk of his older brother who overshadowed him. Huh. Oh, bunny children. Wonderful. Bunny children may look cute, but don't let too many crowd around you where they become significantly less cute. And when they see a spatter, they get extremely uncute, from the spatter's perspective anyway. Gotcha. So, what can I do with them? Can I paint them? Like, I vaguely recall that old crane being powered by some sort of electrical system. There appears to be an operator on duty. We should ask him for more information. Gotcha. Time to seek out Oswald. There's Mickey with his lunchbox. Alrighty. Man, now you see why they call it Mickey Junk Mountain, because it's made of Mickey junk. Of, like, old toys and stuff that they don't sell anymore. Um, that used to be all sold and based around, like, there's Mickey Mouse Club, not Clubhouse, but Mickey Mouse Club buttons, Mickey stuff. Look at this place, man. Isn't it the coolest? I know it is. You don't even have to tell me. I know you agree with me right away. Turn good. Turn good. Yeah, there we go. A couple good boys just hanging around here. I don't take any offense to the fact that you just tried to attack me. I know you're just doing, you're just doing what you know. All right, who is out here all by their lonesome? Out here on this Mickey Mouse school drum? Huh, I guess it is. What's going on, Mr. Gremlin Man? Well, Mickey, now that I'm free, I can use my special gift in your service. My original training was in crane repair. I'll fix this one in a jiffy. Nice! He's fixing the crane. We're getting it so far ahead of ourselves. We don't even need... Wow, spray bomb, Snow White s Snow Spray Bomb, did that say? You did it, watch this. We don't need, we're getting so far ahead of ourselves, it's crazy. What are you about to do? Oh. Like Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel. Good luck up there, be warned, not many have returned from Mickey Jump Mountain. Oh, he's just opening it for us, good. Thank you, I appreciate it. Quest completed, power the crane. Didn't even get the quest, and we've already completed it. All right, now uh, now to get back, which is going to be slightly more difficult than getting over here, because I don't want to fall in the thinner now that I have actually accomplished something. Check this out. See that? Guess what that does? Yeah! They sit and they watch the TV. Isn't that adorable? I love it. And they even sit with like their feet kicked up. It's the cutest thing in the world. Adorable. Truly, truly adorable. I love it so. Just one of so many of this game's little details that I really love. And I, you better believe I am knocking bunnies back. Here, watch some TV, bunnies. Yeah, look at them all. Very adorable. I'm sorry, what did I miss? What did I miss that thing doing? I don't even know. I don't even know, and I don't know if I want to know. We'll just leave things... We'll just leave it be for now. Ooh, hey, a phone! Oh, Torba, slow down. Which... Time is slowed down. Ooh, hold on. Did that let me... That mean that I get up here? Paint the book? Oh, whoops. Oh, okay, maybe I can... Maybe I can just straight up stop the thinner. Maybe I can do that. All right. Get my bearings again. Is the is time not gonna? Okay, there. We go. I was gonna say, you you got unstuck on your own before. Look, it's an NES game. It's straight up an actual NES game, like a official. And there they go, everybody. Down into the water. 
But hey, they provide some platforms. All right, what was the number he wanted? Oh, there, it's the one, of course it's the numbers that are like all apart from each other. Once, seven, two, nine. Is that correct? Did I do it? Hello? Alright, can I... Alright, let's try to, like, zero it out, maybe? Alright, now try it. Seven. Two. Nine. Alright, I guess... Hey, I'm trying. I don't know why it wouldn't work. Hey, kids. Enough. Enough with this nonsense. Yeah. Come on, guys. Just watch some TV. And leave leave your old Uncle Mickey alone. The Adventures of Mickey. How do I get up there? Oh. There's something I'm missing? Oh, That's weird and creepy. There's the big floating Mickey head. Oh, a booklet of numbers. 512... Three four nine zero three three. Okay, let's try five one two. Just because now I just want it. Five one two. Okay. Oh oh, the game hated that. Oh, is it because? Oh, that's what's pouring the. Oh, I see. Oh, whoopsie. Didn't mean to do that. Thought I could make that jump. Hey, it's all right. It's all good. Everything's fine. Everybody's happy, happy. Oh, happy day. All right. Now, we'll just, uh, we'll just climb on up. Yeah, no biggie. No biggie whatsoever. All right, guys, 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 come on. Guys, leave, leave me alone. Leave me be, please. All right. Another cartoon. I wonder what it could be since the last one we went through was a part one. Oh, no. It is a different one. Ready to head up farther up the mountainside? I guess the other one wasn't a part one because I actually didn't see what it said on the cartoon or on the film reel. Maybe that was the only one. Oh, okay, game. All right. I know it's known to have some stutters on Dolphin when, we're go when we go in between cutscene and and cartoon like this but oh boy I was not expecting that oh come on get back down here I was basically right on top of you okay no okay all right thank you I appreciate it greatly you're the best mr. flapping egg and I greatly appreciate you okay no 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 just standing around, wasting everybody's time. Wasting everybody's time. Alright, there we go. Now, where's the stupid film reel? I can hear the, the little kid just... Bang, bang, bang. I'm a kid, bang. Get it? A kid, because he's a... Because they're a goat, which is like... A, a, a young goat is a kid. But also, like, a kid is in, like, stay off my lawn, brr. Get it? I'm making jokes. They're funny, aren't they? Alrighty. Man, I'm really not proving my platforming prowess in this game, aren't I? Proving my platforming prowess. Mm hmm. Just keep going. So that I can, yeah, get up here, and then, yeah, get up here, and then, yeah, and then float over, so that we can get over here and get the film reel. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. That's what I'm talking about. Alpine Climbers Part 1. Are you ready to enter the piles? Sure, why not? I like piles. What are they piles of? I imagine they're piles of more Mickey junk stuff. Another... Eerie, gross looking. Ooh. What is that thing? That is a hopper. The simplest form of beetle works I was telling you about. 
Thinner can remove their protective shawls, but it does no damage. You have to clobber them up close. Unlike Blotlings, Paint will not make these things have a change of heart. Gotcha. So either I avoid uh, painting, or either I avoid them completely, or I just have to deal with thinning them out, and therefore having, you know, just having to deal with that on my conscience. Whoa, boy. That's a long way down. We absolutely are um, a bit higher than um, I would have expected, and we're well, we're really in it now, but that's okay because we're in it together and we will continue to climb up this mountain and see what Oswald has in store for us on the next episode. So thank you everybody for watching. Like the video if you liked the video. Share the video if you'd like to share the video. Subscribe if you'd like to as well. That would really help me out. I have been Jacob and you have been wonderful. Thank you guys for coming along. I really enjoyed having you with me here on this epic quest as we're climbing an epic mountain because this has been Epic Mickey. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See you, Space Cowboys.